Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I thought today I would share something different, a little bit of Christmas content as opposed to a Dollar Tree haul. I will have another Dollar Tree haul up later in the week though. But what I thought I would share today is some of my Christmas ornament collection. If you watched my Christmas home decor tour, which um, I will try to remember and link that down below, you'll see I just have a couple small trees up this year. So I have a lot of Christmas ornaments that I have collected literally since the day I was born um, that were not able to fit on trees and I didn't do a lot of garlands this year. You know, it reaches the point in your Christmas decor that kind of like you just have to stop. Enough is enough. I don't want to be decorating up until um, a few days before Christmas. So in any case, uh, I thought I would share that today. So if it is something that interests you, I would love it if you are so inclined to subscribe to my channel and become part of our wonderful YouTube family. I love reading everybody's comments um, and seeing what they're up to and what's going on with them. So in any case, I will stop the gabbing and I will get on with the unboxing of some of my ornament collection. So let's go. Okay, so I have more than one tub, so I'm not really sure what is in this tub, so I'm just going to dive right in. Here is this delicate glass orange slice, and I always love unboxing ornaments. It brings back so many memories, and an orange glass slice. Now, I know those are German glass. Um, some of these are ones that uh, friends gave me. This little angel, one of my son's uh, school teachers years and years ago, gave me her. So I'm just going to kind of move right along because I have so many. This is one that uh, my son got when he was little. This I know came from the Christmas tree shop, if any of you are familiar with those. Here is one that uh, my son made, 1993. My husband and I, when we travel, we love to collect a Christmas ornament from where we, we, where we traveled. This is the Pioneer Tunnel, and if I remember correctly, that is in Pennsylvania. So that was a little stained glass angel. A little music scroll. Now, um, growing up, my parents ran their own um, gift store, Christmas shop, florist. It had a little bit of everything. So each year, each of us kids picked two ornaments to add to our collection. Here is one. I was in the band um, growing up. I played clarinet and trombone, so the concert band and the marching band. And so this was our little mascot. Somebody made these in uh, the mid-1970s and sold them as a fundraiser. And each of us kids had our own color yarn so that we would know when we put the ornaments up and unpacked them whose was whose and my color was green. So when I see the green yarn, I know that that was one for sure from when I was a kid. There's another piece of German glass, a little kitty. My husband got me this um, the year we were dating, Garfield on skis. 
Wendy's. He was four ninety five plus tax. I think he's in a Nesco. And you can see the little green dot. <laughs> so he's mine. Little train. This is for one of our sons. Little drum. All of these are very special to me. Another piece of German glass. Little wooden sailboat. More German glass. Little glitter angel. Yes, Mika, I know you're there. German glass bird. Another puppy, a carrot. This is from A Christmas Carol. Um, I would say that is Bob Cratchit working away at his desk. This is uh, one of my husband's ornaments from his collection in his younger days. A little ceramic nativity. My husband um, collects nativity scenes. This came from a place called 10,000 Villages, made in Peru. Here's an ornament that somebody crafted and gave to me. Another ornament my husband gave me when we were dating. A little cross stitch ornament that I made, um, I believe in 1987. One my brother-in-law gave me. Blocked raccoon from when I was a kid. A handcrafted ornament from one of my boys. This was given to my youngest son in 2003. It's stated on the back. Another little cross stitch that I did, Christmas Goose. I wanna say I did this in 1986 or 1987. I'm sure there's another one in here. I think I did a collection of at least three or four of those. There are some handcrafted little wooden snowmen from my elder sister that she gave to my boys. Here's a willow tree angel from 2006 that one of my dear friends gave me. She used to give me one pretty much yearly. 
There's a pretty glass ornament that um, my uncle gave me, probably now at least 20 years ago, if not more. A little bell mouse that when one of my sons was in junior high, uh, the school sold these for fundraisers. So, a little ceramic mouse. Little glass bell doesn't have a oh it does have the clacker in it. This doesn't really make any noise. I don't quite remember where or when I got that one. This ornament here is another one my husband gave me when we were dating. So I thought hey, it's really sweet, a little stuffed kitty. Here's a little ornament I made down in um, Georgia one year when we were visiting my eldest son. Um, I think he was probably still in basic training. Maybe he was done with basic training down at Fort Stewart. But in any case, um, I made that little ornament when I was down there. Here's one of my boys. I think I'm going to just pause it here for a moment because I want to clear some of these out so that I don't break them and then um, I can do a little more sharing. The next ornament I'd like to share is this adorable little monkey in a stocking hat. I remember getting him when I was in the fourth grade. I thought he was super cute. He came from my parents' shop, as did this little rocking horse. Very sweet. This little toucan, I believe, he came from Pier 1. This my son painted with the assistance of my sister-in-law in, -law in um, 1992. This is a little cross-stitch Santa pillow ornament that my sister-in-law made. It's not dated, but if I recall, she made this in 1993. And this was another one in the set that she did. Very sweet. She's an avid cross stitcher. One of my boys was on the tennis team in high school, so this was their ornament. They picked one year. Here's another old wooden Santa from my childhood. He's missing an arm, but he still is super cute. This was given to me in my childhood, and it says that it's from Mrs. from Mrs. Santa. Very sweet. Felt stocking. Let's see. I got a guy in there that's missing a head, so we'll forego showing him. Another. This was a train that one of my boys made. That too has had a little casualty. I did find Santa's missing arm, so I'll be able to glue him back together. Sorry, some of these are a little bit tangled. Some little beaded 
candle wreaths. My elder sister made these in remembrance um, of her husband's passing a few years back. She gave everybody one. Very, very nice. And a stained glass ornament. Another one from my childhood. There's the green ribbon. So I think this has gone on long enough, so I um, better stop it here. So I hope you all enjoyed the sharing of some of my Christmas ornaments. Um, I have a couple more tubs, so if it's something that interests you, let me know in the comments down below and I will unbox another container of them. But um, because I just love Christmas and I love sharing my decor with everybody. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and until next time, please be well.